Hi everyone, welcome back to Dental Exam Guide and this is our third video on tooth numbering system and today we will be learning about FTI system of tooth notation. We have seen that both the system which were officially used that is Zygmundi Palmer system and universal numbering system had its own disadvantages. They did not comply with the requirements set by FTI. So in the year of 1970, FTI introduced two-digit system of notation for both the primary and permanent dentition. And this two-digit system was originally described by Dr. Jochen Viol of Berlin which describes each tooth with two digits. And he proposed his two-digit scheme to the FTI special committee since FTI was looking for a uniform internationally recognized system for tooth numbering. And because of the shortcomings of the existing tooth numbering system, FTI's Special Committee on Uniform Dental Recording had passed a resolution proposing that the two-digit system of designating teeth be adopted worldwide. It is now being used internationally and it is the most widely accepted system but it is not used in USA and it is also adopted by ISO International Standard Organization in 1994 October and is also known as ISO 3950 notation and two digit system meet all the requirements set by FTI's special committee on uniform dental recording. According to FTI's committee, five criteria are met by two digit system. It is simple to understand and teach, readily communicable in print, easy to translate into computer output, easy to use for verbal communication, and easily adapted to standard charts used in general practice. And this is the only system which make visual, cognitive and computer sense. And two digit system has been adopted by WHO and accepted by other organizations such as International Association for Dental Research. First number of two digit indicate the quadrant. The numbers 1 to 4 are used for permanent dentition and 5 to 8 are used for primary dentition. And the second number of the two digit system is tooth number in each quadrant. The numbers 1 to 8 are used for permanent teeth and 1 to 5 for primary teeth. So we can see it is a combination of Palmer's tooth numbering with the prefix number to denote quadrant and thereby removing the computer non-friendly grid symbol. And the two digits are always pronounced separately. For example, this two digit two number is pronounced as 1 1 and it's not 11. And uh, this one is pronounced as 2 1 and not 21. And this is the FTI system of tooth notation for primary teeth and the teeth in the first quadrant are numbered from 5-1 to 5-5 starting from maxillary right central incisor till the maxillary right second molar. So here we can see first quadrant is indicated by the number 5, second with the 6, third with the number 7 and fourth with the number 8. Teeth in the second quadrant are numbered from 6-1 to 6-5 in the third quadrant from 7-1 to 7-5 and in the fourth from 8-1 to 8-5. And this is the two digit two numbering system for permanent dentition. The first quadrant is denoted with the number 1, second quadrant with the 2, third quadrant with 3 and fourth quadrant with 4. Unlike in primary dentition where they have used 5, 6, 7 and 8 to denote the quadrants. In the first quadrant teeth are numbered from 11218 starting with the maxillary right permanent central incisor ending with the maxillary right third molar and similarly in the second quadrant it is numbered from 21 to 28 in the third quadrant from 31 to 38 and in the fourth quadrant from 41 to 48 greatest advantage of the system is that 
it hold the possibility of being extended into a three digit system and it is extremely helpful in designating supernumerary teeth it's also helpful in notation of developmental anomalies for example the developmental anomaly called fusion of teeth is expressed by adding an extra number to the two digit system of notation here the first digit denote quadrant second denote the mesial tooth participating in fusion and the third denote the distal tooth of fusion for example the fusion of primary mandibular lateral incisor with the adjacent canine is expressed as 723 in the left quadrant where 7 is the quadrant number 2 is the mesial tooth participating in fusion that is lateral incisor and 3 is the distal tooth participating in fusion that is canine if similar fusion is seen in the third quadrant of a permanent dentition the numbers used will be 3 2 3 where 3 is the quadrant number 2 is the mesial tooth participating in the fusion and 3 is the distal tooth participating in fusion and another developmental anomaly called germination is denoted by adding the extra number 9 with the two digit system where the first digit indicate the quadrant second digit indicate the two participating in germination and the third number added is 9 for example the germination in permanent maxillary right lateral incisor is represented by the digits 1 2 9 adding an extra digit 9 to the two digit system other advantages of two digit system are it is an internationally followed system in most part of the world. It is easy to type and print and it is suitable for computer processing and it can be incorporated in computer languages. It makes visual sense and it can be used for verbal communication. It helps to prevent errors when differentiating between right and left sides of the mouth and upper and lower dental arches. So that's all about two digit system. Next is about my cap notation system which was developed a few years ago and it is the abbreviation of M4 molar, I4 incisor, C4 canine, P4 premolar and A4 acram the dentist who developed it. Here the two types are indicated by the numbers 1, 2 and 3 and they are written as superscript or subscript on right or left side of the letter. For example, permanent upper and lower molars are represented in this way. So we have been discussing about various tooth numbering system. And we can conclude that though many tooth numbering system have evolved over years, no internationally accepted single tooth numbering system is used worldwide in dentistry and related fields till today. And few fields other than dentistry such as Forensic odontology, anthropology, zoology often use different tooth numbering system and it can lead to misinterpretations. Hence, many authors, clinicians and researchers recommend FTI's two-digit system because of its simplicity, accuracy, safety and applicability in modern technology.